What is going on everyone? My name is Northy and today I've got myself somehow another box of team coach. Now this one is a bit that I'm going to do with it. I am going to be using it for a separate video as well. However, that is not going to affect today's box break, but I really quickly wanted to mention it because I wanted to make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. This is going to become important for a future video, this box right here. I'm planning to make a future video alongside this box and it shouldn't be too much of a hint saying that, so I really quickly wanted to mention it so you guys can subscribe to the channel, leave a like. I appreciate all the love that was shown on the first box break and all the subsequent team coach videos that have come out since. Who that I know of at least have hit a thousand views and I know that the third is on on its way, it's on the same track as the other. So the love for Team Coach so far has been just as I expected. It has been so good. So got another box here. Gonna open up another 36 packs and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I just wanted to quickly get all that shilling out of the way so we can enjoy ourselves another box of Team Coach 2024. And here we are. This is always the most exciting part of any video that I make re regarding Team Coach is opening up the box because it's a brand new start. It is a fresh start. We are ready to go. I sliced it quite nicely for my first box break. Can I repeat? Let's see. Oh, that's pretty nice. <laughs> that is from top left to bottom right. That is a very, very nice slice. Oh, that can only mean one thing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no, I didn't mess it up. Thank God. I was very, very worried. I may have accidentally jinxed myself, but that can only mean one thing. We are going to get something big for this one. That's what I imagine it means, but we are only hopeful that things can get better from this point on. Come on, box break number two. Really, really hoping for some good results here. Any result really, it would be fine because I have plans, as I mentioned, regarding this box. So hopefully you guys subscribe so you can stay tuned to the future content that I've got on the channel. But look at all that, man. Look at all the packs, all in my possession. I am so, so happy. Shout out to Lunar Cards. They were originally TRA, but Lunar Cards is what they're now known as. They have been nice enough to provide me the box. Uh, they didn't pay for it. I'm just saying I went there and they had boxes available, but I appreciate them nonetheless. So, oh, I didn't realize it gets green screened out. Look at that. But <laughs> there are all the odds. Pause it if you want to look at anything particular. I know the camera doesn't do it too much justice, but we'll just have to see how we go today. Pack number one. Can we start off hot? We'll have to find out. Here we go. Jack Crisp to start this one off. Tommy Green, and our first insert is going to be... Oh, well! <laughs> Bang! Right off the rip! Magic Wildcard Tribute, our very first one of the year! Wow, that was very quick. <laughs> that was very first pack. Can't go wrong. Now, I do also want to mention, as we also have Jacob Weedering in there. First off, I'm not going to be going through the comments in this one. There's just too many packs for me to do so. But second off, I want to talk about how other people's boxes have been going because I have seen a wide range of positive results. It's been really, really good. But we've got Will Day to start this next one. Uh, Darcy Fogarty. And there we go. We've got the Silver Star Powers. It was about time we went back to reality, but Silver Star Powers. And we've also got ourselves the Rory Laird Scanlins in there as well. Gonna put that there. What am I gonna do for this one? Oh, this is gonna be tough. <laughs> gonna put that there. These are gonna go over to the side and Star Powers. No notice in there. Lovely. The wide range of results has actually been shocking. So, this has been a really good year for Team Coach. Obviously, unfortunate that the price has gone up. You can see it in the top here. They're at four bucks a pack instead of three as they've been in previous years and 350 last year. But, there has never been better odds. They have really never been better odds. It's actually kind of crazy. Oh my god, I think we got another big thing here. Oh my goodness, Tom Atkins. <laughs> Tom Atkins Silver. Ned Reeve Silver. Another Sydney? <laughs> Errol Golden! Gold best and Ferris! Oh my god! Sydney loved me this year! What is up with that? I have now the Star Wildcard, Magic Wildcard Tribute, and the best and fairest gold for them. What the hell is going on? <laughs> we got Sicily in there as well though for the Scanlands. I have seen people range from the best of the best boxes to not so great boxes who all have had great results. And when I say that, I mean the worst I've seen someone get this year is four box hits in a box or four box hits or higher, which sounds like a lot because it is. Last year, getting four in a box was the best you could do. This year, I've only seen people get four or more. I've seen someone get six in a box. That is nuts. Six, six in a box is way more than I thought would ever happen. 
five I have hit the most. And in most boxes, that's the case. It's five box hits in a in a box. Like that's just usually how it goes. But these the rest in that one. Let's go to the next one. I don't imagine we're gonna keep this up, but Hey, are we doing an all Sydney box? <laughs> Apparently, that's what we're going for. I wouldn't mind it. Let's give me some, some massive case hits and all. We got Nankervis, Jordan Tagoe, and we got another best than Ferris. It's Mr. Jack Sinclair. Had to slow down a little bit there. And a Jack Viney in there as well, the Scanlands too. But the odds and the luck that I've seen some people get has been astounding. I've seen someone get a, a tribute card, or it was a Fantasy Duos card, I think it was. No, it was Fantasy 1. Best than Ferris Gold, Wild Card, Team Star Power, K Sit. I've seen a K Sit and it was one more. It honestly could have been a tribute card, but I've seen six before in a box and that is nuts to me. But we've got Rory Laird, Silver here, Jordan Ridley, and here we are. We've got another Silver Star Powers. It's Mr. Nick Martin. That's a very good Silver Star Powers to get, actually. And a Dusty. You've got the Dustin Martin Scanlins in there, too. I think that's my first one. Very, very nice. Very happy to see that. Next pack. Oh, man. It's just so nice to be in peak team coach season. Really, really nice to be there. Jack Lacocious, Bailey Rich, and another Silver Star Powers. we got Brad Crouch with a Lockie Neal. Scanlins card. Get me more of it. I, I don't know how much more team coach I'm going to be able to open at this rate, but uh, I'm definitely going to have little nine pack openings throughout the year. I just have to hold myself back. That's really how it's got to go. And I've got to make sure that I am purchasing cards that I want at good prices, not overdoing it. It's all really dependent on how well I save this year as to how well I do on my card. So we'll see how it goes. We've got Joe Danaher, Silver, Luke McDonald, and here we go. We've got a Carlton card craft. It's Mr. Charlie Kerno. Very good. Very, very good. I love, love Star Powers. I'm sorry, not Star Powers. Card craft this year. Amazing. And the Tomahawk in there as well with his big milestone game the other week. Next pack. Can we find a way to keep it going? That'd be really, really good. I think at the time of this recording, or at the time of this video going out, it's Gather Round. We're in the midst of Gather Round. That's really good. Very excited for Gather Round this year. Uh, it should be good fun all around. I know a lot of YouTubers are going there. I'm not, obviously. I'm very broke. And also have a lot of other things going on. But hey, can't wait to maybe go next year. I would love to go next year. But Dylan Moore, Bailey Williams, and here we go. We got Mara the Marvel. That's our first odd bods of the box. Nice indeed. New one too. Can't go wrong. We got Semi Draper, Scanlon's in there as well. Next pack, and I, yeah, I do want to go to gather around at least some point. Some point for, for content in general. We'll see how it goes. I love to make videos and open packs up there or up there. South Australia is to the left of Victoria. So the West. That's uh, It's a big ask to, to go there for opening cards, but it'd be super cool if I could. Michael Frederick, Paddy Cripps, and Chad Warner. Nice little silver star powers there with a Jordan Dawson Scanlins. Anyways, I don't know how much you guys want me to ramble on about random stuff uh, regarding the football atmosphere, but I am just super, super happy with where my channel's at at the moment, how it's going, and everything in between, man. It's been so fun. But Dusty, Silver there, Will Ashcroft, and another silver star power, Sam Doherty. Still gutted that he's injured for the season. And a Jai Simkin Scanlins. I've entered my fair share of breaks as well. I've been going to like a couple of them. Again, not trying to do too much, but team coach ones I'm looking out for. So if you've got a team coach break, let me know. I'd be happy to enter for your North Melbourne side. We'll see how it goes though. Nick Dacos, Errol Golden, and a Essendon Best and Ferris. I do have this one, unfortunately. There's a few silvers, but I'm still missing. And unfortunately, Essendon is not one of them. We got Tommy Papley, Sydney Scanlins as well. Definitely hoping for a North Melbourne box hit in this one, though. Definitely hoping for a North Melbourne box hit. Uh, I can't always get them from breaks, so I've got to do my best to try and get them in my boxes and my packs. It's it's a tough ask, though. It's very tough. Jeremy Cameron, Alex Pierce, and oh, a GWS hardcraft card this time around. I like the team colors on this one. Looking very nice. Welcome to the team, Josh Kelly and a Libba Scanlins. I've been dumping all the packs next to, the, next to the microphone, so I hope you guys haven't been hearing too much of that. That'd be a bit hectic, <laughs> but we've got ourselves Timmy English to start this one. Silver, Elliot Yo, and our first Majestic card craft. We've got ourselves... Ooh, what the hell is this? <laughs> got like a string or something, but Toby Green, Majestic card craft. He's the first gold card craft that I pulled, actually. Now, uh, now I think about it. The very first gold card craft I got, as we also get Jordan Dugowie there, was a gold card craft from 2021. I didn't record all my packs back then. I was a very small YouTuber. Still kind of am technically in the scheme of things, but much smaller back then. 
and I pulled him and like didn't even realize how hectic of a pull that was. Like it almost didn't hit me until like about five minutes later when I checked what I got. <laughs> but a Darcy Parish silver there. Mitchy Owens, and we've got ourselves a Locky Ash Silver Star Powers there with a Toby Green Scanlan's card. But let me know, I think my question for this video is what is your biggest pull ever in Team Coach? Because I know a lot of people have pulled a whole bunch of different things from Team Coach, from a range of gold trophy wild cards to gold card crafts and certain players like Dacos and Dusty. I know a lot of people have done it, so it'd be nice to hear what your favorite card or even best card has been pulled. But we've got Shea Bolton, Bradley Hill, and a Pendle Silver Star Power. Very nice with a Oscar Allen Scanlans. Another thing that I want to talk about is those Scanlans cards because I think I'm starting to kind of warm to them, get normal, like just not stress too much about them. I still wish there was something else for the one in every pack card, but hey, I'm not mad at it. I think it's a good idea. We got Matty Rouse Silver though, Aaron Norton Silver, and we got a Doggies Best and Fairest. I do have him, unfortunately. <laughs> Again, another one that I've got, but a Brad Crouch Scanlans nonetheless. We are cooling. We've cooled down fairly heavily now. We've cooled down fairly heavily. My best card ever, though, from Team Coach. Oh, it's got to be that Paddy Cripps from last last week. That Paddy Cripps was amazing. We got Josh Dunkley Silver, Cozzy Pickett. And Ollie Henry, Silver Star Power. I know I've definitely got him. I know I've got him. He's familiar. We got Clayton Oliver Scanlans as well. But I think that Paddy Cripps from last week has to be my best one for the year. I mean, the price it went for, the rarity that it is, it's just like that was a crazy pull. Crazy good, but just, oh my God, I could not believe it. We got an Ollie Wine Silver, Stephen May Silver. And our first gold card. We have actually been kind of quiet on these gold cards. I expect to see a lot more coming up. We've got Dan Houston Scanlans as well. Next pack. And I'd say we're about halfway through the box now. Close to it, if not. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to see what else we can do, though. Lots of room. Lots of room to potentially get more. Fingers crossed for case hits. we got Shea Bolton, Bradley Hill, and a silver Dusty. That's a double up on Dusty. That's actually not a bad double. I'll take that. And a... Rowan Marshall Scanlan's card in here as well. I wonder how valuable Dusty still is to people. Because it feels like Nick has definitely taken his place. But Dusty wasn't, like, Dusty still isn't that unpopular. Or he's not as popular as he once was. I think Nick has taken that from him. But Dusty's still, like, popular, right? I think so. We'll have to see who takes the limelight after Nick, though. Because Dusty definitely had it back in my early days on YouTube. But Nick has definitely overtaken it. We got Matt Rouse Silver. Aaron Norton Silver, and a Majestic Card Crud. Hey, speaking of it, there's Dusty. He's letting me know, hey, stop talking trash about me. I know what you're saying. All right, Dusty, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm very sorry. We've got John Newcomb Scanlans in there as well. Apparently, Dusty is just not having my slander today. Oh, my face cam is having so many problems. I've just noticed. You see that line? Like, I'm getting out of the way, but yeah, that's better. You can see all the green that's coming from. I don't know. I think it's just because of the light coming in from my room, but oh, it's annoying, that's for sure. we got Josh Dunkley. Cozzy Pickett, and hey, Charlie the Conqueror. Another new Oddbods. Hey, the Oddbods luck has been kind of good. And the Harry Mackay Scanlan's in there as well. We've been a long way now without these box hits. I didn't realize there was this much of a gap between it all. Hopefully, we still got a bit more waiting for us. I would really not like to get held out hanging this long, especially. We've got Ollie Wine Silver, Stephen May Silver, and a Jai Simkin gold card. Hey, we love the North cards. Good things happen when you see good North cards. I'm telling you. Mason Redmond Scanlon's in there as well. But I have a feeling this next pack then. This next pack's going to have something. If we get North, something's on the way. Something's on the rise. Come on now. Give it to me. We got Ben Keys. More North. More North. Come on, Tristan Sherry. More North. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not stopping. It's telling me. It's a sign, man. A Jai Simkin Majestic number one. Hey, I'm telling you, there's something coming. There is something on the way. Bailey Smith Scanlans as well. Ah, quickly, next one. <laughs> we can't waste any time. There's something on the way. I've said it so many times. When there's North, there's something good coming. Come on. Jack Crisp, Silver. Tom Green, Silver. And it's another gold. It's a Timmy Taranto gold card. Oh my god, more north! <laughs> There's still more signs. I'll slow down now, but Tim Taranto gold too. Very nice. And a Nick Larky Scanlans. I went off to way too hot of a start. This has been way too good to start, man. I didn't realize that I had to wait my turn, apparently, but here we are. Liam Baker, 
Logan McDonald. And oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. I knew it. I said something was on the way. Nick Larky, Magic Wildcard. <laughs> I told you something good was on the way. Nick Larky. Yes, mate. That's beautiful. We will absolutely take that. North Melbourne Magic Wildcard. Very, very good. That's the winner so far. That's the winner so far. We've got to hope that we get a bit more, though. Errol Gould and Scanlon's in there, too. Oh, my God. That's the ultimate sign. <laughs> that is the ultimate sign. There is something crazy about to pop out here. I think we are definitely owed it. Come on now. Let's do it. For the boys, we've got Tom Atkins, silver. Ned Reeves, silver. And a Gold Coast, silver best and fairest. Noah Anderson there. Already have that one. <laughs> I'm sounding very ungrateful, but I mean, I already have that one. What can I say? We also got Maxi Gorn Scanlans. Oh, that definitely makes the box better though. That Nick Larky, that makes the box a hundred times better. We should be at least seeing one more. I really hope we don't only have one more. I want to see something else as well. We got Jacob Wiedering silver. Willie Rioli silver. And it is a LDU Silver Star Powers. Okay, we're happy with that. More North. Can't go wrong. Tommy Lynch, Scanlon's in there as well. But yeah, I'm feeling the greed now. I'm feeling the greed. I am getting greedy. I want to see one more. I want to see something big, something massive. Come on now. We got Rory Laird. We got Jordan Ridley. And we are seeing a midfield ball of Matty Rowell. I love the red border for this one. This looks very nice. I love this. Oh no, a little nick on the side though. You can kind of tell that. Yeah, you can see it just covers over a little bit right there. I think that's the best way I'm going to show you. It's kind of hard to tell, but I can definitely see a little damage on the side here. But that's okay. Matty Rowles are very, very nice, Paul. I will definitely take that. So that's number four. That is the minimum from what I've been seeing. Ben King Scanlon's in here as well. I have seen people get to five though. And I've seen people get to six. I'm going to be cons like conservative and say we're going to get to five, but there's a chance that doesn't even happen. So we'll have to just cross our fingers and hope. We've got Peter Wright Silver, Braden Maynard Silver. I told you, number five, baby. There we are, Rowan Marshall, fantasy number one. There we are. Oh no, this one has damage too. Oh my God. I can't catch a break. There's damage right there. That one's a bit more visible. Oh my God. I hate it when this happens. Paper packs can do that to you. But uh, honestly, I'm not mad at having recyclable paper. Uh, recy recyclable packs, I should say. But thank killed up Rowan Marshall with a Paddy Dangerfield Scanlands. I told you I was being hopeful for five and we still got room for six. <laughs> we got room for six. We need a case hit in here. Come on. We're going to hit us with the boom. We're going to go absolutely... Ultra, ultra pack. Come on now. We got Joe Danaher silver, Lukey McDonald silver, and it's another gold. It's Mr. Nat Fife. You are not the mega card I was expecting, but I will take a gold and a Josh Dacos scan in there as well. Oh, I'm fingers crossed now. We can hit six. It is possible for six. That is one in every two boxes. That is one in every two boxes. We got one in every 40 and then two box hits. There is an easy chance we can go absolutely nuclear. Nuke. <laughs> Nuclear, I think it, nuclear, something like that. <laughs> Man, my English is really off. We've got Stephen Canelio, Tommy Hook. Oh my God, I didn't realize he had that goatee going on. That's crazy. And a Caleb Sarong, Silver Star Powers in there as well. And a Tim Kelly Scanlon. I didn't expect that from you, Tomahawk. I'll, I'll be completely honest. When was that photo taken? <laughs> That's a strange looking photo. Come on boys, number six. We want number six. Give it to us. Come on now. We've got a Michael Frederick. We got a Patty Cripps. Oh, it's another old bods. It's Papley Pop Up. Okay, it's a new one. I'll take a new one. That's fine. No more, please. Tom Stewart. Scanlon's card as well. How many more packs do we have left? We have four. Oh, man. Here we go. This is where things get very, very interesting. Come on now. Four packs for one more hit. And it's got to be a case hit at this point, I think. Let's have a look. What are we seeing? We've got ourselves a Nick Dacos. Whisper Nicky Dacos. Errol Goulden, it is a card craft. Christian Petrarca, Majestic. I'm happy with Silvers. I'm absolutely happy with these Majestic card crafts, but come on. We got Jeremy McGovern Scanlon's in there too. Three more to go, come on, don't do me dirty. I mean, I haven't really been done dirty. I've had a very, very good run here, but <laughs> I really want one more. Jeremy McGovern Silver. We got a George Wardlaw Silver. 
And it is a Tex Walker Silver Star Powers. Okay, all right, that's fine. Got the Took Miller Scanlins in there as well. And if we do have a case hit, we are leaving it to last moment because this is getting a bit ridiculous. Come on, case hit time. Case hit time. Come on, wake up, wakey wakey. It's time. Let's do it. We got Mateus Filippo. Charlie Cameron. Come on, do it for me. Oh, it's another gold! It's Josh Rochelle. Gold Josh Rochelle. come on now. We're, we're really gonna leave it to the last one, huh? Is that what we're doing? We got Jack Crisp in there as well. Oh, man. Alright, let's see. What have we got? This is the last one we got. Come on now. We got the Timmy English to start. We got the Elliot Yo. And finally, we got a Brisbane best and fairest silver. No case it, unfortunately, but five hits is really, really good. The Andy Brayshaw Scanlon's in there as well. My God, that was actually kind of a crazy one for, for no case it. Five hits. We have five hits in here. One of them being a North Melbourne too. I cannot be mad at a Nick Larky, but man, <laughs> five hits for no case hits is kind of crazy. I am seeing a wide variety of different results from boxes this year, and this is one I haven't seen yet, I don't think. Usually if there's five hits, at least one of them's a case, but not in this situation. We have ourselves double box hit Rowan Marshall, fantasy number one. We have a Team Star Powers box hit of Matt Rowe, a Magic Wildcard box hit of Nick Larky, a Gold Best and Fairest box hit of Errol Golden and a Magic Wildcard tribute card for the Sydney Swans. This is a double box hit, so nothing over double box hit, but five hits nonetheless is crazy. I like this little thing on the back here as well with the different years and the different designs. It's actually a very, very well designed card on the back. I think I still want my kind of adjustments to the design though. Instead of having in a four grid, we have it two at the front, two at the back on the side here. Could even do it like this, two at the front, two at the back for a wild card so solution. I don't know but I like it. I like the idea of it and I like the results of this pack opening. So there you have it. There's another box break done for you guys. Again, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and want to see more of what I've just done here today. Again, this box was helpful in creating another video. You'll have to find out what video that was very, very soon. But I'm very excited to show it off to you guys and I'm hopeful that it does well. So again, subscribe, leave a like on the video as well if you enjoyed this box break and become a member if you really enjoy what you see here and very, very much helps the channel out and it is very, very much appreciated. You also get exclusive content there as well. So if you wanna join, absolutely go ahead. You'd be welcomed with open arms. So thank you again for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.